Hello everyone, I just wanted to wish you guys uh, a great uh, December 11th. Uh, I can't wait to see everybody uh, for our Christmas banquet uh, later uh, this afternoon and, and share a meal and have some laughs, dance together and really just celebrate. Uh, celebrate God and celebrate uh, our, our, our Lord Jesus Christ and celebrate us being in His family. I wanted to share a passage for a short time of communion uh, from the, the, the end of 2 Corinthians. Uh, we've been studying this letter, and, and I hope you have been uh, enjoying, or probably enjoying is probably not the, not the right word, but being edified, encouraged, uh, even pro hopefully deeper, deeply, more deeply connected to God as a result of reading uh, 2 Corinthians, uh, hearing some of the sermons on 2 Corinthians. I love the vulnerability uh, of this passage, but what I want to focus on today is the last, uh, the farewell statement, the last sentence of, uh, of this letter in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 14. It says, this is, this is Paul's wish or blessing for the church in Corinth, and uh, I want to uh, extend that blessing to all of us in the Vancouver Church of Christ. It says, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Uh, what a great wish from Paul. It is uh, one of the unique places where the Bible, uh, actually, when, when you, you see the Trinity, as that, that word is not in the Bible, but you see Paul referring uh, to the, the three ways God relates to us, the Father, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the, and the Holy Spirit. All three of them, Paul wishes uh, that we would experience the fullness of God, that we would uh, understand that, yes, we are just jars of clay, but there is a treasure. And that treasure is, is God living uh, with us, God living inside of us uh, because of, of, of his creation, because of the redeeming power of Jesus and his sacrifice on the cross and the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. We get to experience a life with God, and that, that's, that's amazing. And uh, so hopefully, hopefully you, you, you know, you get, maybe you don't get as excited about some of these Bible nuggets uh, that I do, but here's, here's another aspect of, uh, of this passage. He says, he talks about the grace of Jesus, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Now let's let's spend some uh, time understanding all three of those things, you know, understanding the grace of Jesus, you know, the undeserved kindness that Jesus showed to you and me by going on the cross, and the love of God that God sent His Son because He so loved the world. Uh, that that love moved God to create. That love moved God to give us a way to salvation, and he, it moved God to want to be with us because He loves us. The Bible describes God as God is love. Amen? And the fellowship, the partnership, the, the community of the Holy Spirit. And, and that's, that's the Holy Spirit living in every one of us Christians, connecting to us to God, having... The Bible actually describes this as almost kind of like being married to God, being made one. Uh, in our spirit, and, and as, as a husband and a wife are made one in their flesh, and this is in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, as we are one with the Spirit, we are one with God through His Holy Spirit. But it's not just me and the Spirit. The Spirit lives in every one of us who are saved, who are in the light, who belong to God, who are in His kingdom. And that same Spirit connects us, it unites us, it brings us to God. And that is the beauty of God's design for His church. His gathering. That the people that are His, the people who have the Holy Spirit, would gather together and together something magical happens. Something miraculous happens. Something that's, that, that, that is, is not cannot be explained by, by just mere people being together. Because there is God through His Spirit. We, when we get together later today, for a Christmas banquet, even though that's not a church service or a, kind of like a sacred thing, it is the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. 
uh, people of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will be there connecting to uh, connecting us, unifying us, encouraging us, supporting us to continue to live in a godly community to the glory of God. Brothers and sisters, I, I wanted to share those thoughts with you and to share how much the grace of the Lord Jesus means to me. I'm, I'm so grateful that Jesus died for me. I would not have a chance, not just to be saved, but to to, to, to experience some of the way life is if it wasn't for Jesus' sacrifice. I'm so grateful for the love of God. I, I know that uh, I probably would have given up on myself many times, but God continues to love us. Uh, remember the story of the prodigal son. The God was just so happy that the son came back. And I'm so grateful for the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit that lives in every one of us. Uh, and we, we play different roles and we have different gifts and, and we serve God and, and we help and love and, and, and connect with one another differently. And that's all fine. That is the beauty of that God's design. But it is where our fellowship is based on that Holy Spirit. So I hope you are uh, also grateful. Uh, thank you for being a faithful member of our church in 2022. Thank you for being my brother, my sister. As you listen to this message, I'm, I'm so grateful for our fellowship, for our community uh, together. And thank, thank God uh, for his indescribable gift of, and his love. Let's pray together. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, we do love you very much. We ask your blessing uh, for the life of the, the Vancouver Church of Christ. God, I pray for our brothers and sisters that we get to uh, be encouraged and blessed by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That we get to experience the love that God the Father has for us. And we would be encouraged by the fellowship of the Holy Spirit uh, living inside of every one of us, God. But we're so grateful. Thank you for the bread and the fruit of the wine that we get to take to remember in remembrance of Jesus. In remembrance of the covenant that is possible through his, his, his body and his blood. We love you and we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.